So, um, I've got my telescope felt. It's um, black velour flocking material. And I've got my adapter here. Here's the mess. I've got some old bodies to repair. Um, you can see it's it's an old it's a Nikon to NEX adapter. And I've got the tel telescope felt here. It's a uh, it's a lot less reflective than this material here. Inside of these are so shiny. So what I'm going to do is measure the hole. It's about 1.9 inches. Say 1920, just to give it a little bit more. And then times pi. And then, so six inches. This calculator's all messed up. Clear. I don't remember how to clear this calculator. But it's, uh, it's 5.966. Let's see. Call it six inches of felt. And this is not six inches, so I'm gonna have to cut a piece off there. Uh, pull that out. Should really clean my desk, except for I'm in the middle of a, of a an F rebuild. This one needs to be tuned, and so does this one here. out, which are already not out. There we are, scissors. Cut a little piece off of here. See, I've already kind of done this a couple of times. So, is this six inches? Nope. So, we're going to cut a piece off right here. Six inches about here. Good, just get in there like that. I'm not a YouTuber, so I don't really care about the audio and all that other stuff. Okay. So we want six inches. I could really realistically just use this down here. So I don't really like using, but yeah. So I need my knife. And then we just measure. It's called hole depth. One inch sixty minus. Got this little flange here, right here, which I've already felted, so I don't need to cover that. Let's call that 0.375, no, 357. So just double check it, it's got a little lip there, so let's just call that. Just call that eight hundred thousandths. So eight hundred thousandths. Tommy straight edge. Just 
call that one the straight edge. We've got it fairly straight, so it doesn't matter. It's going to overlap itself in our thousands. Let's go like that. All this stuff is so much in the way, but quick and dirty, I've got stuff to do. Like that. And I'm just going to move it up on top of this thing. Get out of the way, you washer. Push down. Yeah, move it, of course. It's pretty simple, so you just get the felt. Find the diameter, do the pie to get the surface, and then chop it out. Just like that. And I think it's easier to clean the felt before you install it. Just a piece of uh, painter's tape, something that's not going to be too aggressive. Just pull any lint off of it. We're going to take the felt, and I normally just, even if it's brand new or used or whatever, clean it so the adhesive stays to it. The last thing you want to do is have the adhesive fall off, and then it come off and go onto your sensor. That's just a 70% or 90% alcohol. Then we just take the felt. I can't really get that with my fingernails because I trim them way down. Alrighty. There we go. And then we just feed it in. Normally, what I do with these is I take off the front bolts here. All the heads and screws, so it's easier to get inside. But uh, I've actually already Loctited these down, just in case they wanted to jump. And then we just kind of roll it inside. Roll it inside. There we go. Make sure it's not touching any of the uh, tabs, the springs in there. Just give it a good press. Got a slight overlap because I went. The film is actually slightly smaller on the circumference, so the six inches is, you know, just slightly overlapped. Is probably sixty thousandths of overlap, which doesn't really matter. But that's it. You've got an adapter that you uh, lined with telescope felt. Uh, reduces reflections for sure. So let's see if I can get a good reflection. Normally this would be completely shiny. And uh, cuz I've got a light right here. And you can't really see any kind of reflections. So we'll see uh, how long that holds up. I've actually done this to the one that's on the lens currently. And uh, oh, I needed two NEX AIs cuz I have two AI bodies. Or two uh, Sony bodies that I use in hand in hand. So this is the second one here. Alright, thanks for watching.